Hey everyone, welcome back to Endless Money Pits. This is my friend's 2017 Honda CB500X, and today I'll be showing you how to install a slip-on exhaust. The exhaust we're installing today is made by a company called Scorpion, but the installation process is the same as it was for the Yoshimura exhaust I installed on my bike. The procedure is straightforward and very similar for almost all modern Honda motorcycles. Here are the tools that I used for this job. Socket wrench. 13mm ratcheting wrench, 12mm box wrench, 12mm socket, 10mm socket, 6mm hex wrench, and an angled pick. Like many others, this exhaust kit includes one muffler, one fitment pipe, one clamp, one mounting bolt, and two springs. First, making sure the engine is cool, we'll take off the factory muffler by removing these two bolts. Remove the lower 12mm bolt first. Then remove the upper bolt. It's also a 12mm and it has a 12mm nut on the back, so you'll need two wrenches. With both of the bolts removed, the factory muffler should slide right off. This curved pipe will connect the new muffler with the factory exhaust pipe. The clamp goes on the smaller end, but you'll want to connect the other end to the new muffler first. The connection between this pipe and the new muffler is extremely tight and will not slip or spin once installed. To make things a little easier, I rubbed a drop of oil on the connection, which allowed just enough movement to get everything lined up straight. We could smell the oil burning off after getting the new exhaust warmed up, but the smell went away pretty quickly. With everything in place, loosely install the upper mounting bolt first. This particular bolt should be assembled like this. The nut requires a 13mm wrench, and the bolt takes a 6mm hex wrench. Double check that everything is lined up, then install the lower bolt on the clamp. This one is a 10mm. Now go back and tighten the upper bolt. Both of the bolts should be snug, but they don't need to be cranked down too hard. The two springs will reinforce the unbolted connection at the muffler. These aren't very easy to install by hand, so I used an angled pick to pull them tight and put them into place. Side by side, the factory exhaust looks much bigger and bulkier than the new slip-on. It's also heavier and obviously quieter. Unfortunately, I didn't get a sound clip of the new slip-on. Most carbon fiber exhausts look really nice up close. They aren't cheap, but you get what you pay for. That concludes this week's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this, and until next time, just keep throwing money at it. And CNN is a money pit.